What's up, you guys? So, I hope all of you are doing fantastic this week or today. If you're watching this the next day or another day, then I'm, I just hope you're having a good day overall. Um, so, I'm filming this on Wednesday, and this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So, shout out to all the teachers out there. You are doing a wonderful, great job. You're making a difference in these kids. So, you guys read the title correctly. I'm basically going to show you pretty much my whole collection of the Never Take It Offline from the Andy Biersack collection. And yes, there is a small giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how to enter. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about from the jewelry line Never Take It Off, it is this amazing website that singers, creators, and I think there's one YouTuber have created their own jewelry line for fans out there. And one of the singers is Andy Biersack. He created this line. I am so happy that he did because I'm not really the jewelry type girl, but when he collected this line and I saw his jewelry collection, I'm just like, okay, yeah, okay, you, got, you, you sold me. I'm willing to give you my money. So <laughs> here I am. A lot of my never take it off collection does come from Andy's line. I think there's just one thing that I have here that doesn't come from Andy's line. <gasps> but um, yes, uh, I really like never take it off. I love older jewelry. I have been looking at others other people's uh, lines, but honestly, I'm a fan girl. I'm dedicated to Andy. So dedicated that his logo that he has on Never Take It Off, which is basically a heart and two crosses down. I, <laughs> guilty, not guilty, I literally got myself, um, you can see it, a tattoo right here on my ankle of the logo. I, I don't know, it's just my inner fan girl who just wanted it so bad. So, all right, so I guess let's just dive into my collection, shall we? So the very first two pieces I ever got from Never Take It Off came from one of my friends in college. It was, for, it was a birthday gift because I was talking about it. I showed her some photos of Andy's line, his very like first jewelry pieces out. I got two of them. One of them happened to be the lovely Ido cross earring, this one right here. If, for those of you who've been big fans of Andy, he typically wears a cross ring on, on the left or right side of the ear. And it was actually featured in one of the magazines on AP Magazine. He doesn't wear a big one like he used to. He does wear a small one from time to time. The second thing my friend got me from Never Take It Off happens to be one of their bracelets. So I feel like when Never Take It Off first launched, especially with the Andy line, there was a lot of bracelets, which is totally cool. But I just have a thing, a love-hate relationship with bracelets. But my friend did get me the this one right here. I don't know if you guys if I can show it really well. So I have this one with the skull right here. This one I believe is uh, Be Your Own Hero. So this is the very first Never Take It Off bracelet. Uh, literally been wearing this since uh, freshman year of college. And the second one right here, which is Buddy Up, is this lovely cross one, as you can tell. Uh, I think this one is against all odds. I think it was on sale at one point, and I just really wanted one to get across to kind of match with my earring that I got too. So yeah, I only have two bracelets. Uh, again, love-hate relationship. Maybe sometime in the future I'll get more. We will see. So One ring that I own from Andy's line and never take it offline is the Crown of Thorn ring right here. So this is the It. Comes in two pieces. Uh, I think this one came out on last December for around the holidays. I absolutely love it. I had to have it in a heartbeat. It's just something called me to it, especially from, I think it's even titled from one of the Black For Bright songs in their fourth album, I believe. I could be wrong, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> Necklaces. I am a sucker when it comes to any type of cool necklaces, like anything like has a cool diamond on it, something whimsical or fantasy or just kind of gothic. So I am a sucker for those. So when Andy came out with his line, oh boy, I needed to get every single necklace that I could. I don't remember my first necklace I ever got from Never Take It Off, but I know my favorite one would have to be this one. This is my absolute favorite necklace. This is the Eyes of Blue necklace. I wear this necklace constantly, like ever. This is my go-to necklace, literally, like when I'm going to work or just like for any special events or any day. This is my go-to necklace. I love this necklace. Uh, I like the name of it because of this cool 
a solar type deal um, jewel, you go out in the sun, it recharges the glow, and when you come inside it's this beautiful like turquoise blue color which matches Andy's eyes and absolutely love it. This is my favorite necklace of all time. The next one I have I would say is my second favorite. This one is the I'm Still Here necklace with the black chain and the black diamond and with the black jewel with the black uh, wires around it. So don't judge me. With this necklace, I get the I just get the feel with this necklace that this is supposed to be an informal event type deal. I feel like this necklace just speaks a formal event. Going to like a dance, a fancy dinner, a wedding <laughs> and stuff. I don't know why I got the vibe out of this necklace, but honestly I do wear this necklace when it's a formal or very special event. Um, yeah, so don't ask me why. The next necklace is cool kind of gothic bat. This is called Our Own Way, I believe. So here's a fun story about this necklace. So I originally ordered this necklace like last year around Halloween-ish because it was Halloween. <laughs> and when it came to me, the one of the wings broke in the package. So, you know, I had to email never take it off. And they told me to, you know, they'll resend me one. It never came and so I had to email them again. I don't know, it just something happened, I don't know, it was miscommunication, but like, I never got resent a new one, so I literally had to buy this bat one, so this one's really cool, I like it, very, I like the bat itself, very whimsical and fantasy-like, and as you guys know from watching my last video, I got a bat tattoo, bats apparently seem to be my spirit animal, and I'm okay with that, so... Yes, if you're questioning what's, what am I doing with all these necklaces, yes, I'm literally going to put every single necklace on me. <laughs> so the next necklace, it came from his holiday collection from last year. This one is the Hearts Will Sacrifice necklace. It's a little black chain with a little black heart and a little cross right here. This one does come with a ring I saw. I was mostly interested with the necklace itself and I absolutely adore it. It's very cute. Let's add on to my neck, shall we? Alright, so the neck necklace I have is probably the longest one that I own. And this happens to be the Love Conquers All necklace. So if you look it up on the website, it literally comes with the longest chain ever. So you can double it up to be a choker and so forth, which I do often. Or you can just literally wear it long. Whatever you please, if you want to wear it long or double it up. So I tend to double it up. This is the longest necklace I own. So it goes like all the way down to my belly button, literally. So, there we go, double it up, and voila! There is a Love Conquers All necklace, right there. So the next necklace I have was a limited limited edition necklace that came out this Valentine's Day. It is the lovely My Way necklace, the locket, and it has a little key right here. This one I don't quite wear as often, but occasionally I do grab for it. I, I honestly like the key a lot, and I like the length of it too. Alright, so my next necklace is actually a very special necklace of mine. I don't think they make these anymore. I think that this one was a retired necklace, like it was no longer going to show up anymore. So I, for the life of me, I do not know the name of it. But I remember going on the website and I saw like this was a retire neck a piece that I was never gonna come back again. I absolutely love the style with the black chain and the pendant right here. It right, definitely reminds me of the Renaissance jewelry and so forth, so I just got it. I don't remember the name of it. I do I have proof though that is a never take it off necklace because if most of you guys own a necklace, they come with a little never take it off tag. So here it is right here with the Andy logo and the Never Take It Off logo. So this is a special necklace because I absolutely love it. This is actually, I think, this could be actually, now that I think about it, this could actually be the very first necklace I ordered from Never Take It Off. So this one's very special to me. Um, they don't make it anymore and I'm so happy to own one. I love it. I actually wore this necklace the very first Andy Black concert I went to when he came out with his first album. It was a special moment for this necklace and I to go to that concert. So. Alright, the next necklace I have is uh, the one is a kind of a recent one. This one I wore a lot in my last Andy dressing up like Andy for seven days. This one is a lovely eagle necklace. This one is called Legend Never Dies. This is the kind of bronzy gold one. He has another one at the silver. I don't remember the name of it though. But this one I specifically ordered for that video because in his Instagram, if you zoom in a lot, he has a tiny little eagle 
necklace. I don't recall what the eagle really stands for or if that's just his favorite animal. I'm sure it does stand for something. Uh, again, I'm sure you guys, Andy fans, know what it is so you can let me know in the comments below. But this one I specifically got for the video and it's on my collection now. And now it's on my neck. So. <laughs> Second to last a necklace that I got from Andy Line is the lovely ink necklace right here. So I really like this one. It's very like whimsical. That's the best way I can put it. But I like this one. I love the chain itself and a little glass pendant with a little ink bottle in the center. So that is my second to last Andy necklace. So I did order a piece outside of Andy's line. Do not come after me. I'm sorry. This one is called Choker Cuts the Tie. This is from the line from Craig Nab Nab Nabbit. I totally butchered that, but yes. The only reason I got this one is because it has a bow right on it. You guys know me personally, bows are just my things. I, I wear it consistently every day, well, except for today with the beanie. If I'm not wearing a beanie, I'm wearing a bow, pretty much. So I just had to get this one because it screams me, and I absolutely love it. I kind of regret not getting the bracelet, but you know what? I got the necklace, so this is the choker. So the most recent thing I ordered from Never Take It Off, I'm actually kind of shocked that I was able to get this. Like, it was out of stock, it was no longer coming back, but it got in the mail a couple days ago, and I ordered, which I never thought I would own now, but now I have, is the lovely Host Choker Necklace of Andy. This necklace, this choker, was definitely inspired when Andy hosts, hosted, 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 he hosted a music award type deal, and he was wearing this uh, very plaid tuxedo, and so they decided to make a choker with a little A in the center to represent him. Oh wow, it has glitter in it. I did not see that. Wow. Oh wow. Glitter makes everything better, right? <laughs> so, yes, I'm very happy to finally own this because like, I've been wanting this for a while, but like, I saw that it just got out of stock and it's no longer making it. When I ordered this, they li it literally said one more in stock, so I just clicked it like that to my cart and I'm very happy that I did. So now I have this amazing Andy choker that I get to wear around and so forth. Wow, my neck feels ridiculously heavy. It's like, <laughs> this is right here. My lovely Never Take It Off collection. I am so happy I own these. I love these jewelry so much and they're, they're going to be with me for a very long time and so forth. I, I can't wait to see what other designs, jewelry pieces, Andy's going to create and collab with them and put out there. I honestly cannot wait to see them. I'm really hoping he puts out more earrings and more rings. I know he has, there's a couple, but I really hope there's going to be a lot more. Obviously, there's still a couple things I still want from the website itself, but I'm always looking forward to the new things. And I should adventure out to the other, other artists lines and just kind of see what they also have. There's a couple that I like. I Alright, so if you made it to this part, end of the video, good for you. You're here to now figure out what I am giving out away and how to enter it. Since I am doing a lovely Never Take It Off collection, showing you guys the collection, I so happen to have two Never Take It Off bracelets. One came through when I ordered the AP magazine right here, so this one has a little key with a heart. And then the other one actually was a mistake that they did. So I originally ordered a one of Andy's Halloween collections with the cross with the little, oh, I think it was red thing to represent blood. For some reason, I don't know why, they got me this, they packed on this one. So this one has a safety pin on it. This one has a safety pin on it with black beads and so forth. So I, this was an order by mistake, they just told me to keep it, so I'm like, okay, I'll just keep it. I have these two Never Take It Off bracelets. They are, they, as you can tell, they have not been opened. They have not been detangled to look at. They have stayed in these original packets. So, here is how you can get a chance to win these two amazing Never Take It Off bracelets. All you have to do is either through Instagram or through Twitter, I'll have both social media links down below, is send me a picture tagging me on it, showing me your Never Take It Off collection. That can be you wearing all the pieces like I am, or just having it on your jewelry stand, stand right here. Or if you have another creative way to show me it. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, I can't wait to see your photos and I will see you guys very soon.